Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Slackers Undercover video. I am your racing host for today, Mad Dog, and I'm bringing you Dirt 4. Don't forget guys, you need to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, take a buy that like button, and please, please, share the content. Help us expand the Slackers universe. How's it going guys? Uh, gonna be doing a little racing, finally got a new racing game to add to the channel, so... Uh, playing Dirt 4, and I have the handling on, it gives you the two options, it does gamer handling, which is a little easier, and then they actually have simulation, so as close to real life as possible. Now, I wish I had the steering wheel and the pedals and all that to hook up and do it properly like that, but uh, I'm just going to be using the controller, but with the controller, even then, it's still a bit of a challenge, so I get the, you know, the rumble and the controller, like where, you know rocks or dips or whatever would happen so yeah uh handling is a little difficult but i want to make it a challenge so without further ado let's get into it this was just a practice course let's see how she handles because it's a new car than what i did the intro with oh yeah that was a lot better. There we go. Oh, should have used the brake a little bit on that one. <laughs> Know which way to go, so <laughs> that's really cool. Oh. Take that one a little far. smoothly as I thought we were going to. So where's the hub? Is it this thing over here? Or is it this? Uh, I'm guessing she means go to the main menu. Because I don't see anywhere where... By completing your induction at the Dirt Academy, you've earned your first license. Oh, this nice. has given you access to regional rally events over in Michigan, where you can start your career. Nice. I have to go to Michigan. I like the music in this game. I really hope it's not copyrighted, so we'll see. Welcome I might have to just to turn the, the music off. Floor. From here, you can choose events to find the on-track action. My team becomes available once you buy a car of your own, allowing you to set up and manage your own racing team. Nice. Choose vehicles to find your garage and buy new cars for your collection. From time okay. to time, you will receive messages in your mailbox. Okay. Lastly, choose options and extras to find extra content or configure your game preferences. Okay. Well, let's see, we got some mail here. Welcome to Dirt. Nice. Okay. All right. Let's go to an this event. This is your hub for getting on the track. Choose career to start your path to glory. Okay. Alternatively, pit yourself against your friends and other drivers in competitive or multiplayer. Oh, okay. In free play. You can customize your own championships and even create your own stages. Cool. The Dirt oh. Academy is the place to practice and learn new skills. 
okay. and Joyride puts those skills to the test in a series of technical challenges. Okay. Let's click back on Dirt Academy because maybe I missed something. Rally. Ooh, we get to choose a car, huh? Nice. Oh, there's that one. Oh, which Subaru do I want? That's... Let's try this one. Let's see, more options. Oh, I don't have any. Oh, so do I have to pick something that's... My vehicle? I don't get this. So we have to buy a car first before we can even... Oh, okay. Okay, we just select it. Oh, okay, I was confused for a second there. I thought it wanted me to buy it. I was like, I don't think I have any cash. Let's see if she's going to give me some instructions this time. Just if she's not, then we'll just go back. I love the music for uh, racing games. They usually pick to do a good job. Lessons! Alright, let's get some basic techniques done for right now. Breaking while cars traveling straight line lets you to break later and then harder is still like during the vehicle. Nice. Just that volume because Jesus, that's still very loud. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, I'm still trying to get the it, it wouldn't let me like fully go past down a certain point on the volume, so I was like, Well, that's kind of sucks. So let's go to 15, negative 15 gain. I'm just trying to not blow out your ears, guys. Sorry, but the this is meant to be a loud game, so <laughs> since it's a racing game. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay, I should let the brakes off a little sooner, but. smooth as him, but, or her, but. Okay. 
Try this one more time. Oh, too early on the break now. <laughs> Sound good? That was too early on that too now. Okay. I got that better. There we go. That was a lot better too. Yeah, a lot worse that time. <laughs> oh, I take it a cone with me. That's what that noise was. <laughs> Oh yeah, we got that 53 again. Okay. We got that. Alright. Uh, in that lesson. Alright. Weight transfer. Weight transfer is a core driving component that is the key to mastering the majority of racing techniques taught in Dirt Academy School. Yeah. I know that. That much about racing. <laughs> Uh, by the way, still need to uh, upload those videos of me actually racing in uh, real life for y'all, so, <laughs> with my MR2, <laughs> which I should be getting back within the next two to three weeks officially. Try one more thing for adjusting the volume. Uh, let me turn this down. Maybe I'll turn it down up there as well. All right. All right. Let's continue. So you'll need to make stronger inputs to trigger the same effects. Okay. There we go. That's better. As smooth as him, but I wasn't going fast enough to actually take advantage of the braking and mess that up. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was terrible. All right, let's try this again. quite get enough force behind me again. I cut that one a little early. There we go, that's better. Alright. I think I clipped the front there. There we go. go. There we go. Yeah! There we go. Almost a whole second better. <laughs> oh 
Okay. Get a little ahead of myself. Seconds. Right. That was a little better than last time, but not. Okay, let's restart the practice. That way, the everything's not all over the place. There we go. Okay, my car tapped that uh, barricade. Alright. Uh, I cut that way too early. Yeah, let's restart that. <laughs> Alright, don't worry guys, I'll get it right. Alright. <laughs> we'll do one race at least before we end the episode. to race than it is uh, on a game. <laughs> I'm not even joking on that. See if we can't get in the 29s again. There we go. successful. Let's go on to brakes. And break usage. All right. too early. Ah, I did that angle wrong. I did it 
it way too early. It's hard to see when the computer breaks there. There we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, okay. Gotta get this down, guys. Otherwise, I'm not gonna do good in the races, so. There we go. Alright, now let's see if we can't mess up this turn now. Darn! Still taking it a little too fast. 29. All right. I right, just clipped those cones, that's all. <laughs> we go that's it all right there we go and I should have tapped the break there darn it also trying to see what my style is if I like to slide sooner or later I messed that up, so I had to almost do a complete stop one. And time's going to be a little longer because of that, yep. There we go. Alright. Lining up is key here. Oh yeah, there we go. Ooh, nice. Okay, let's move on. All right, I just want to get the basics down so that way we can do a first race and just apply these. When you get a flat tire during a rally stage, you have two options. Stop to repair it or limp the car to the end of the stage. Sometimes driving it out is your only choice, like when you don't have a spare. And it mm. may be faster to limp at home than to spend the time making the change. When wow, they incorporate that into the, the game. The car's going to be unstable and prone to understeer and oversteer. Yep. This can be especially problematic on two-wheel drive cars when the puncture's on a driven wheel. Like when you get a rear flat on a rear-wheel drive car. When a tire goes flat, it loses its shape and it gets floppy. If you keep driving on a flat, the tire can come right off the rim or rip apart, which can lead to bigger problems. <laughs> the faster you drive, the worse it is. Ooh. <laughs> there are a couple yeah. of signs to look out for that tell you you're driving too fast on the tire. First, you'll feel a vibration through the car that gets worse with speed. Mm. To help prolong the life of the tire, try slowing down to a speed that reduces that vibration. Second, a flat tire is noisy. That's because it's out of shape and it's rubbing in the wheel arch. Yeah. Again, reducing speed can stop the noise and help keep your tire from breaking apart. Oh, okay, the last one was just a lecture. I don't know how you stop and repair it during a race, so I wish I would have explained that, but okay. Oh, God, there's a bunch of things. Uh... <laughs> let's, let's do... Oh, okay, I guess first one's gonna just be lessons. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Maybe we'll do this episode a little extra long to uh, get these out of the way. So I'm glad I have a controller because I can adjust it. Use partial throttle to limit oversteer and try to avoid mashing the gas until you've straightened out. Through long, fast corners, use as much gas as possible to keep your speed up, but back off to control slides when they happen. Once you're confident, apply more gas to find the car's limits and 
get faster. All right. Got it. Slides all over the place. No wonder they chose it. There we go. Gotta get used to feathering that throttle. Yeah, let's restart that. <laughs> Thirty-eight seconds. It's really hard with the uh, controller to get that spring just right. Whoops. Trying to get this feeling just right for pulling the trigger. Six, that's better. See if we can get a little lower than that. Feathering it feels like it's better for me with the controller. Feathering the throttle. quicker. Let's not lose sight of him this time. in that lesson. Alright. Trail braking. It's the brake and throttle moderation to help you navigate corners at high speeds. So press them at the same time? Let's see.
nice. Trail breaking looks like it's my thing. <laughs> As I crashed through that barricade. <laughs> Should not have said nothing. As smooth as them, but at least it didn't crash. Oop. All right, this will give me a good space starting time. Thirty, okay. I think I need to let off the throttle when I go over the hill there. Oh geez, okay. So 30, 30 is what I need to be. Watch the demonstration on that again. I'm getting that turn wrong for some reason. 31, alright. That's like I gotta get used to the in-car view. I usually, when I play racing games, I do the out-car view. Alright, let's watch the demonstration one more time. Breaking as soon as I land, and then straight breaking, and then going on through. Okay. I did like one extra break compared to them. Right. Okay, got that better. Let's do one more lap to make sure I got this right. 30, flat 30 almost. Let's see if we can't get a flat 30. I put a barricade right in my way. Darn it, I can't practice that turn properly. <laughs> nice! Got under 30. Okay. <laughs> 
All right, we're still pigeon turns, kind of, yeah. Oh, there's one dedicated to that. All right, this should help me with those. <laughs> This lovely turn again. Okay. That's where I was messing up. I forgot to turn toward the corner first. Okay. I think I got that. Not quite what they did, but you know, we gotta get going first before we can. Hmm. Okay. Let's try it again. Jeez. Alright. Right. Yeah, I just didn't do it soon enough. But that was the basic idea. Got all the codes behind me. <clears throat> Not quite as smooth as him, but there we go. We get it, but that was a little close for comfort. Oh, did it too early. <laughs> All right, we need to beat 29. more like it. Alright. We messed up. Uh, but still worked out for us a little bit there. 20 and 5. Alright. closer to him, so we did that one pretty good. Stopped right on the line, but that's not exactly the way they wanted us to do it. Ooh, we were faster, though. Yeah, 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 I know. I did a little too early that time. That went a little wrong to you, but we were faster. All right, let's go ahead and end that lesson. All right, manual starts. All right. Mastering the start is an art all in itself. Mm -hmm. In rally, it's not uncommon for drivers to be separated by a tenth of a second at the end of the stage. Yeah. So a good start could be the difference between winning and losing. In rally cross and land rush. A fast start is even more important. If you get out front first, you'll be clear of the rest of the cars when they hit the first corner together. Turning off the automatic starts assist gives you more control on the start. For manual starts, 
You need to hold the handbrake while you build up your engine revs, then release it when it's time to go. Oh, okay. By default, the clutch works automatically, so there's usually a fraction of a second delay between the time you release the handbrake and when the clutch engages. Through experience, you're going to be able to anticipate this delay and release slightly before go time, giving you a faster start off the line. Oh, nice. You need to be confident in your ability to anticipate okay. them, or you're going to get a penalty for jumping to start. Yeah. Enabling the manual clutch gives you total control over when you engage the clutch. With practice, this is the fastest way to start, because you're going to be able to time it exactly right. But you need to be more aware of the surface you're on, because each one calls for a slightly different technique. Yeah. Dry gravel requires the least precision. Dumping the clutch spins the wheels, digging you into the ground where you should find traction right away. Mm -hmm. Wet conditions can be a little tricky because you might find mud under your wheels that doesn't offer much grip, so you'll want to go easier on the clutch. Tarmac requires you to feed in the clutch progressively, since the shock of dumping the clutch can damage the drivetrain. Snow also requires a different approach. Too much clutch, and you'll be spinning your wheels. Mm -hmm. So allow the car to roll forward slowly to establish grip, and then feed in the clutch to gain speed and avoid wheel spin. Okay. Oh, I thought they were gonna let us try. Oh. I just wanted to try that launch and start. Did they not? Okay, A and B is my shift. I didn't know I could do an outer view, so I might be able to do this game better now that I can do that. I know what buttons are our shift Wrong button. <laughs> this is gonna take some use to.
Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, definitely gotta get used to this. Can't just introduce a new button to me. New buttons. Oh god, pushed it too fast. I double shifted. Oh my goodness. I am pushing the wrong buttons. Come on. <laughs> I keep double tapping it. I don't want to double tap it. Downshifted, darn it. There we go, that's better. Oh my goodness, I'm, I still got the barricade in front of me. Ah, oh, I gotta reset that because it's gonna be in the way. Gotta really beat that time. I messed that up big time. I pressed the wrong button.
Come on, catch him! <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> Take a shortcut. <laughs> Alright, we'll do that one better. I need to take that term better. I keep messing up. I need to tap the other brake for that turn. I need to beat 46 and then I'll uh... Go, we got 46. 46 7 is what we gotta beat. We're just riding that edge, that's all. Oh my goodness. <laughs> 46 7 is what we gotta beat. Oh my goodness, I'm messing up all my button presses again. I thought I had that down. <laughs> what was that? Oh my goodness. Maybe dropping down to one is best there. I seem to be a lot closer to him than I was. Ooh, look at that, 44. We beat it by two seconds. All right, lesson done. Alrighty, guys. Uh, geez, there's so many things. I want to do at least half right now, so let's do drive types. Forward drive, all right. And that's where the front wheels turn. Rear wheel drive is where only the back two wheels turn. And then all wheel drives, all wheels. So we're just going to get familiar with them. So that was a front wheel drive car we were driving. Okay. Mm. 
Okay. Wonder if it's got me back on automatic transmission or I still got manual. Okay, so we're on. We're back on automatic, okay. That's what they were talking about, the uh, oversteer. Okay, we need to restart that, jeez. Not as good as him, but starting to get a little of the hang of it. You just let out the gas a little bit and then mash it again and it turns. <laughs> there we go. 46.8. See if we can beat that. to initialize some braking through that turn. Forty six eight. Same. <laughs> Interesting. All right. Oh, I had to feather it a little bit there. All right. It's a lot better. All right. so good. Have to use the handbrake for that turn. Have to use the handbrake on that turn. One more time. We've got to get that turn right. <laughs> the car is so dirty. a big time so I lost a lot of my momentum so let's one more time there we go feather it Thank you. 
Yes. All right. <laughs> Let's end that lesson. Woo. Rubble drive. Now this is what my car does. I'm gonna have to feather that throttle to get that to do what it what they want. <laughs> Alright, not all the episodes are gonna be this long, guys, but So yeah, you go you do that if you go too far, so I love rubble drive, but geez, it's hard to control it sometimes. Oh, 51 now. Alright, let's see if we can beat 51 and then we'll move on to the next thing. I know I didn't master that one, but we're going on an hour on this video, and I didn't want to take that long, so I uh, learned about the car strikes, so four-wheel drive. This is what I like the best. <laughs> but I know I'm going to have to do races that only allow four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive, so. Yeah, that's what I like. <laughs>
Nice. Whoa! Yep. Already messed up. <laughs> Doing the uh, driving the other types of cars threw me off from this from earlier, so I was just driving all-wheel drive cars, and now I'm like all messed up. There we go. All right, got to brake hard and then go into the turn with the throttle. I didn't do it soon enough, otherwise I would have came out right like he did. Damn. I'm like so thrown off now. Alright. Remember what you just did there and take that through the rest of the course. There we go. That's the closest I've ever been to him before. <laughs> it went a little wide. 44. Let's see if we can beat 44. I don't think that was faster. Let's do one more lap. 44.8. Alright. I, I took that corner wrong, I know. <laughs> Took it perfect that time. I don't know what happened there, but alright. I was like, screw it, let's just get through that corner as fast as we can. So we have a uh, good speed. Messed up that turn. Messed up that turn a little bit. Still fairly close to him though, so...
cut that corner a little bit, I know. 44-4. Oh, we're like right there on top of him. Oh, we're gaining on you. Oh, we're like in him or something. Yeah. Woo. Okay. <laughs> in a lesson. Nice. Alrighty, guys. Uh, I've done half of the lessons. Let me know in the comments down below if you want me to do the next video on the next three lessons. Or you'd rather me just get into the action of playing the game. So, thank you all for joining me. Uh, sorry that took so long. I didn't have no idea it was going to be this detailed lesson. So, uh, let me know if you want episode two. Please comment if you watch this. If you want to see the rest of the lessons or just get into the racing. I really want to know what you want. And the video, don't want it to be an hour long. I'd rather these be like 30 to 45 minutes depending on the length of the race I'm doing. So, this is Mad Dog signing off. And we'll see you next time, Slacker Underground. Arr, arr. Woo! <laughs>